Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Vitale. And I'm Dr. Catherine Rosenwasser. We're here to answer your top questions about how children can avoid back pain as they go back to school. At the beginning of the school year, many kids start to develop back pain. Having more strain and weight on your body does put more load on your lower extremity joints. If your child is complaining of neck or back symptoms, especially on one side of their body, and that's the side they wear their backpack, then I would suggest a new method. We also recommend that they limit the weight of their backpack if they're finding that they're developing any neck or back symptoms. Scoliosis is defined as a sideways curve of the spine of more than 10 degrees. The majority of scoliosis is in fact hereditary. About half of my patients are children who are teenagers or adolescents who develop scoliosis during the teenage years. I agree with you, Dr. Vitale. I would not say that scoliosis is preventable, but what I would say is that when it's diagnosed early and treated properly, there are many non-surgical ways to keep you out of the operating room. As pediatric orthopedic surgeons, we get asked this question frequently. When it comes to our older teenagers or even young adults, we are very effective at slowing or stopping progression with bracing and with Schroth physical therapy. Some parents worry that as their kids head back to school this fall, that this hunching over posturing they've been doing all through our pandemic may contribute to down the road problems with their neck and back. We want to reassure them that they're not doing structural damage to their neck and spine, but they are contributing to more deconditioning in their overall body. Being active, getting up, working on your core strength and your overall flexibility help keep you out of trouble, especially now that you'll be spending time back in the classroom. Back pain related to sports activity is really a balance between spine flexibility and strength and the environmental demands that we put on our spines. The truth is that there is no one sport or activity that's particularly bad for your child and we encourage them to be as active as they want to be. The important things to remember though are that your core and hip strength as well as flexibility of your lower extremities help keep you out of trouble when you're a high level athlete. As a pediatric orthopedic surgeon who specializes in the lower limb, I can say that your weight absolutely affects the way that your lower extremity joints work. The more strain we put on our hips, knees, and ankles, the more likely we may be to develop issues with them in the future. I always counsel my patients and their families that being healthy, having a good nutritious diet, staying active, and working on your core strength and flexibility are the best ways to prevent lower extremity joint pain as well as back pain. We wish you and your family a healthy and active return to the school year, free from back pain. For more information, please visit nyp.org slash orthopedics. Thanks for watching.